Okay. Hello, my name is Kurt Steer and I'm with Harvest Tech. Today we're going to talk about some of the differences between our new 700 series applicator for automatic systems and our 600 series that we've been selling for the last few years. We're going to start at the back of the system where the pump plate is. The 600 system uses a three pump system and uh, a turbine style flow meter. The new system that we're working with, the new 700 system, is going down to a single pump and a paddle style flow meter. The advantage with the paddle style flow meter is uh, reduced opportunities of it to plug for you. Compared Let's talk a little bit about the moisture sensors that we have for our system. The 600 series system, we had three different styles of star wheels depending on the baler make and model. I'll show you the encoder that we have for the new 700 series. It's inside the block so we don't have to worry about damage with twine wrapping around uh, the proc sensors of the star wheel as we had with the 600 series. It is a more responsive encoder so that we get changes in baling rate a lot quicker than what we did with the proc sensors um, on the older system. The harnesses, um, again with Deutsch plugs, is something that we did change. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. But with the harnesses, it goes right back into the processor, which is mounted on the back of the baler as compared to our 600 series, where all the wires would go to what we called our DCP, which was either mounted on the side twine box or mounted up by the tongue of the baler. Moving ahead here, some of the other things that we talk about or are going to talk about is all the different sensors. We still have the bailing rate sensor as we had in the past whenever the needle arm would go to sense uh, for our job record to bailing rate as well as for our job record. Uh, similar sensors on both but again you're running additional wires up to a processor on the old system where on the new system all of our sensors are tied into the main wire harness that you had tie, put in on the baler with these Deutsch plugs so it's easy click and put into place. Um, optional crop eyes that we've had in the past, again, you had additional wire harnesses on the 600 to get it to a centralized processor. The optional crop eye system that we have here will tie right into the main wire harness where the plug is actually right down on the pickup head close to where these units actually attach. So there's less wires that you're going to be running with the new system over the old system that we have here. Talk a little bit now about the plumbing and the spray shield of the, the new 700 series system. Earlier I talked about the new 700 system uses a single pump and two pulsing solenoids which we're showing here. A um, number of advantages that we're going to have by using that is um, we're able to adjust the flow rate. We have a higher flow rate or application rate that we can do with the new 700 series versus the 600 series. The other thing that these do is give us a positive shutoff of preservative at the spray shield. Of those of you familiar with our 600 series, we've got the check valves that we use to um, help stop flow. Um, they get dirt and debris in there. Sometimes they are held open a little bit and they'll drip on your pickup head. With the pulsing solenoids, that does a clean break so you won't have that issue moving ahead. One of the other things you're going to notice with the spray shields, the new 700 series just uses two banks of nozzles. Uh, the 600 series uses the three banks of nozzles. What we're able to do with this in the pulsing solenoids, um, we are able to use larger tips. One of the key things with that is to reduce plugging of nozzles in application systems. The other advantage with this um, new 700 series system, we have one set of nozzles that covers the full range of application. You do not need to stop and change tips if you're running into a lower tonnage or a higher tonnage as compared to our 700, or excuse me, 600 series system where there's a certain tonnage range where you'd have to flip from a high set to a low set as well as change a lookup in your monitor for what you're running there. Let's talk about the tractor harnesses and the monitors that go in the new 700 series versus 600 series system. Uh, one of the things that we do want to bring to your attention is we have gone to uh, Deutsch style plugs versus the amp style plugs that we've had on the 600 series. Both systems still tie down into the main battery harness as well as have the keyed switch. As you remember with the 600 series, we also have the keyed switch again for the 700 series system yeah. with that. Um, most of you may be familiar with our initial Harvest Tech display, our TSD that we've had for a long time with the 600 series that we started with. We then did go to a VT option on a number of the different balers that you can hook into any VT. 
And then we transition into the connection into an iOS device with our control module. Moving into the display options for the 700 series, we still offer the ISOBUS uh, solution for the balers that have that capability. We also have the iOS option which connects by a wired link to our control module. One thing that we have now added is the ability to run Android devices. We also have an optional Harvest Tech display available again. This is an example of what we have here. It hooks easily into the system. Your keyed switch wire you disconnect from our main wire harness. It just tees right into line. Plug it in, plug your keyed switch back into it, and you're set to go. Again, gives you an optional monitor for the Harvest Tech if you do not have the option of ISOBUS or do not want to go the option of your tablets.